Howdy, Howdy Ramblers. Ramblers! Today we are going to be reviewing the 2012 Hoptimum uh, Imperial IPA by Sierra Nevada. Yeah, and this is, uh, they call it a whole cone Imperial IPA. Uh, I guess that means that they leave the hop cones whole. Usually they're either pelletized, which Sierra Nevada never uses. Good to know. Uh, or their whole flower, uh, but I think they're broken up. Um, so I'm guessing, since all of their beers are whole flower, um, meaning they're not pelletized, this they're actually just throwing the whole cones in there. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, they call it the ultimate whole cone hop experience. And, uh, yeah, we've seen some other people review this, but got to taste it for ourselves. Yeah. So, without any... Uh, uh, delay. Let's uh, look at the smell, or excuse me, let's look at the the visual on this. How does all it right, so it's fairly clear, yeah. not uh, not really very hazy. No. I don't see a lot of carbonation. Yeah, coming not up. A lot. How was the head when you poured it? Uh, it had a, had a decent head when I poured it. Mm -hmm. um, not not real th uh, thick, but you're definitely seeing some lacing. Uh, lacing yeah. A lot of lacing. Here, it just wants to stick to the sides of the glass. And at, uh, what kind of alcohol percentage we got here? Oh. Well, I'm guessing this is around uh, 8 or 9%, but uh, we'll throw the figure up on the screen. Here, Somewhere here, over here. here. <laughs> All right, so, so let's see. So we say uh, golden color. Uh, I would say that that's... Uh, honey, uh, amber, honey. yeah, great. Honey to amber. Let's see how it smells. Mm. Ooh, oh yeah. Very, it smells like Christmas. Wow, that first you get like a huge <laughs> sort of cascade grapefruit. Grapefruit, yeah. Right up in your face and then it's got like Punch a... Punch of like pine kind of in the background. Yeah, it, it follows right up with a, a whole lot of kind of piney, Sour. resinous flavor. I can imagine this is going to be... Very hoppy. <laughs> very hoppy. If you swish face. it. Give it a little swish and you get the... Alright, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's good. Oh. Mm. Yeah, and there's a smooth ending, right? So it kind of bites you at first when you taste it. Kind of a punch in the front of the tongue. Then it glides to the back of the mouth. And and it tastes very hoppy. I mean, it's like floral and citrus. Very much grapefruit up front. Um, apples. Yeah, I'm actually getting a lot of the bitterness in Bitter. the in the middle of the mouth. Mm -hmm. But there's a surprising sweetness, so they definitely gave it some uh, backbone to help carry it in. But the overall character, especially when you're done, to me is just really unique, uh, resinous, yeah. um, piney. Yeah, kind of finishes up with that almost the even piney a bit of tree. Astringent. <clears throat> the astringent definitely lingers. I don't taste alcohol, but you can definitely feel a little. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm not a huge fan of like really hoppy IPAs, but I wanted to try this one because I'd seen it reviewed before and everyone seems to really like it and I, I like it. I could drink a glass of this easily. Yeah, I think it's got an interesting combination between the, um, you know, sort of uh, resinous and maybe even a little bit herbal. Mm -hmm. um, I would give it four stars. I give it four, four as well. And I think it's a really good example of a hoppy IPA, especially if you've never really had a super hoppy IPA. This would be a good introduction to one. Uh, and it's good that it comes in smaller bottles because I don't think I could do a big bottle of this. <laughs> All right, well, that, there you have your verdict. Four, Four stars, stars for the Optimum. Okay. Uh, a nice uh, kick in the pants <laughs> of, uh, of a mixture of resinous, piney, and then very fruity pops. Yeah. And leave us a comment if you've tried this. Let us know what you think. Uh, you can also give us suggestions for beers to review in the future. And subscribe to our channel if you like this beer review and like to see more. Yep. Hit us up on Twitter or Facebook if you have any more questions. And uh, if you're on Untapped, we're on there too, Rambling Bears. And you can check out the beers we've been having. So come find us and uh, cheers. Until next, next time. Ramble, Ramble on. on.